the leaking brain. Shut up! Johnny wants my heart for Christmas. You know, you know that, huh, Tommy? You're safe here, Bob. Don't sweat it. <laughs> Whoopee! Edge did it! <laughs> Come here, sweetheart! Neilan, it seems like a lifetime. I'm sorry. I have no memory of you. You really can't remember this pretty boy face of mine? I'm sorry. Hell. Well, we all lost bits and pieces in the war. But you're free, sweetheart. That's what counts. I guess. Feels like I'm lost. First things first, sister. Let's get you out of those straps. Love over there? It's yours. I rescued it from your safe house, along with your fancy combat skin. Lucky thing they caught you on a day off. Now this is a hundred percent Nilin. Way above the model I used to use. It's beyond me, sister. You're the only one who can use it. What did they do to you? Down there, in La Bastille. Unlike you, I had to stay for the whole program. Well then, let's get you changed. Your combat skin is in the locker. Hunter, is she dangerous? Determined, she'll turn the slum inside out to catch you. Not just to catch you. Typical brain rat. Barely outside and already working. Dylan? This is for you, David.
This is for you, David. This memorial transfusion has a good chance of healing your husband, Mrs. Sedova. Shared happy memories have an extremely positive impact on the patients. The syndrome that your husband suffers from is a classic excessive memorial deletions, acute dependency on external mnemonic triggers. Aggravated risk of fatal identity. Short, the inevitable shattering of already fragmented personality. Here, these endorphins should lubricate the process and help ease his receptivity to the transfusion. Come on, David. Remember us. Remember yourself. Memorial transfusion complete. <laughs> Don't worry. NMP is the best hospital for the treatment of memorial afflictions. Everything will be all right with time. Yes, of course. Ah, good. The initial results are encouraging. We need to schedule more treatments. A great deal more. It's an extremely expensive process. Continue, Dr. Quaid. I can cover his treatment. is the best hospital for the treatment of memorial afflictions. Everything will be all right with time. Yes, of course. Ah, good. The initial results are encouraging. We need to schedule more treatments. A great deal more. It's an extremely expensive process. Continue, Dr. Quaid. I can cover his treatment. This is for you, David. This memorial transfusion has a good chance of healing your husband, Mrs. Sedova. Shared happy memories have an extremely positive impact on patients. The syndrome that your husband suffers from is a classic. Excessive memorial deletions, acute dependency on external mnemonic triggers. Risk of floating identity. Aggravated risk of identity. Short. The inevitable shattering of already fragmented personality. Here. These endorphins should lubricate the process, help ease 
his receptivity to the transfusion. Tachycardia. This is unusual. Doctor, what's wrong? He's a, he's a little flustered, that's all. Nothing to worry about. Uh, try to focus on peaceful memories. Come on, David. Remember us. Remember yourself. Child of the clouds, why do you crawl? What? The flies eat me. The flies take me. I'm not here to take you in. Do you still plan to take down Memorize? Yes. Then we share the same enemy. Well, there's a turnaround. I mean, a happy turn up. For everyone. I know Olga has her own reasons. Actually, just the one reason. The great Olga Sadova, siding with the Errorist Revolution. There must be something in the water. Last time I took you in, you were young and quick on your feet. Just because you're not on my list, doesn't make us drinking buddies. <laughs> Don't sweat it. I'll cancel the romantic weekend for two. But Nilan has a rendezvous with high society. And the route is alive with surveillance. Have you got any ideas? Oh, I got better than ideas. That's the Nilan I know. A magician. Nobody can turn heads quite like you. First you hit me! Then you ruin my little business. You want a love-hate relationship, you got one. Whatever, we're wasting time. Thanks, Tommy, truly. You haven't lost it, sweetheart. Edge was right to bet it all on you. Everybody's counting on you! The risks Tommy and Edge have taken to free me have got me feeling troubled. Now they want me to punish Neo Paris's privileged few. Edge talks about a clandestine mission to be accomplished in the heart of the Saint Michel Comfortress. About a brutal wake up of this high security district, making it fertile for the seeds of revolution. And why not? 
Though his fight is legitimate, it's his friendship that has been clinging to my drifting thoughts. Why did our enemies erase my memory? Am I really that dangerous? In my chest, my throat, on the tips of my fingers, I can feel the throb of the power that scares them so. It scares me too. The power to take what someone is, their memories, and bend them to my will. To rewrite their history. To play God. The mere thought sends me reeling. If this ability really is the core of who I once was, then I must relearn what has been taken from me. I must master this talent. Welcome to San Michel District. Thank you for flying, Air Sadova. <laughs> Good hunting. I could do with a guide. No can do. Family business to take care of. Your first target's name is Carrie Sheridan. I need some confidential codes hidden in her memory. Who is she? The most famous architect in Neo Paris. Stored in her brain is every detail of every building she's designed. How do I find her? Your contact goes by the name of Bad Request. He's waiting on the last floor of the Saint-Michel Rotunda. 